Hey ladies! So, uh, yes, today let's get into this look. I really wanted to do a, like, spotlight eye with some bright colors and a bright lip color because on my channel recently, the makeup looks that I've been doing have all been, like, neutral, everyday type looks. So, I wanted to, like, switch it up a bit, you know, and just have fun with makeup. So, if you want to see how I got this, sexy and tropicana you know look please stay tuned so first things first i'm going to prime my eyes and of course i'm using my milani uh primer it's been like my favorite eye primer for a while now i'm gonna use some tape to make my edges really crisp and now i'm just preparing my eyebrows by brushing them out with the spoolie so the product I'm going to be using today is my Inglot uh, gel brow liner and I think the color is 77 but I'm filling my brows in the same way that I would with a pencil the only difference is I am going in the front of my brow and doing small brush strokes because I wanted my brows to be kind of bushy so I'm just concealing my eyebrows now underneath the brow and then the rest of the product I'm going to use on the top of my eyebrow and then I'm going to take the concealer that's left on the brush after doing that on the front of my brow to have a natural brow. If you guys want to see how I do my eyebrows more in depth I'll link a tutorial as well. So now I'm just priming my eyelids with my, uh, my Rimmel Scandal Eyes in Tempting Taupe or Trespassing Taupe and then I'm going to set that with my Sasha Buttercup powder just to make sure it doesn't move and make sure that my powders are going to stick on top the eyeshadows I'm talking about and I'm just setting my eyebrows in place with my great last clear mascara which probably needs to go in the trash so the first color that I'm going to be laying down in the upper part of my crease is goldenrod by Mac and then I'm going to go in with fool's gold by coastal Scents and bring that lower and I'm using a dome fluffy brush to do this as well. So take your time in doing that. So I wanted like a gradient effect. So I'm going in with Max Fool and I'm just taking placing the color a little lower than the last two colors so we can see all those colors come through the eyeshadow. So now I'm going to go in with Electric Ill from MAC and I'm taking a blending brush and this is a 217 and I'm going to be, start, I'm going to start layering that color um, in the crease. And take your time when doing this and you'll see that this clip is going to kind of be longer than some of the others because I really want to show you guys that like when I'm putting down the eyeshadows, I'm really taking my time to layer them to get the color where I want it to be. And I know I wanted a deeper inset crease, so I'm going to take a lot of time um, with really focusing on the crease and getting the color to just really look blown and faded out. So I'm just placing that electric ill on the out portion and the inner portion and really just focusing on blending the color in the crease so i wanted it to be deeper than this um of course you know yellow and blue makes green so i'm going and taking uh another blue color and i'm using navel from mac with a smaller fluffier brush or a smaller crease brush and i'm using a mac 222 here and i'm just concentrating that blue in the crease so i can really get that blue to show through create more depth and then I'm just um, blending it on the outer and inner corner because this is going to be a spotlight eye so I want that blue to come through now this brush is not going to give me a whole bunch of color impact as far as on the lid so I am going to switch over to a flat shader brush and I'm going to place the navel color uh, right on the outer edge and in the inner edge of the eye to really start creating the outside colors of the spotlight eye that I'm going to be doing. And if you like the video so far, go ahead and subscribe. So let's see here. So yeah, I'm just then going to just start blending everything or blend everything together, make sure everything is blended. And now I am taking Persian Green from Coastal Scents and I'm just patting that in the center 
uh, where I left no color at of my lid with my finger to get the most color payoff. And just pat that color till you get the color payoff that you want. Navel 217. To ensure the colors were really blended, I just went back in with my 217 and blended everything out. And now I'm going to uh, put my inner cured up color in. And this is Coastal Scents Minty Fizz. And just pop that in with a really small shader brush. So now I'm going to do my wing liner. And I think this color is Ocean or something like that from MAC. It's just a gel liner. And I wasn't really getting the contrast that I wanted. So I'm going to finish doing this wing. But I am going to go back over it with my Inglot gel liner in 77 and that's just a black one and I love that one so I'm just gonna complete this on both eyes and then go back in now as you can see with the black gel liner and just place that over it and because that blue was down there to me it makes it look like a dark navy blue liner it doesn't fully look like all the way black like I feel like I can see the blue peeping through but you guys tell me what you think so yeah, I'm just going to complete my wing liner. So I'm going to move on to the face for now. And of course, I'm using my Maybelline Master Prime. And I'm just going to place that on my face. And then rub it in like lotion um, to prime my face. So the next thing that I'm going to do is color correct. And I'm using my LA Girl color correctors. And I think one is peach and then one is orange. But I feel like I've been having like a mustache. Or lately I got like the mask area of my face has been looking really dark so I'm just gonna color correct that whole area because I want my face to look like one color so I'm just blending both of those colors in um, and I wanted this to be really simple so this is what you should have once you color correct it should just blend in then I'm gonna take my wet n wild concealer and place that over top and now I'm just going in with my black opal foundation sticks and the color and and all the products that I'm using will be in the description box below. And I'm just going to blend that all in. Now, this is different for me because I normally do not use cream foundation. I normally would go in with liquid. But I really wanted to just try some new techniques and new things today. So, yeah, we're just going to be doing some new stuff today. So, now I'm going in with that peach corrector. And I only use this because I want it to be light, but I wasn't really liking it. The consistency seems different. Like, I just bought this one. The older ones seem thicker. Um, this is really thin. And I'm just using, like, a duo fiber. I think this is a duo fiber foundation brush to um, just blend in the corrector and brighten up my under eye area. And I'm going to go back in with my Wet n Wild concealer again and put that over top and blend that all out but i'm also going to place that wet and wild concealer on the top of my lip and the center of my nose and a little bit on my forehead as well y'all know the drill like all the highlight areas and then i'm going to use that foundation foundation brush i was using using before and just blend everything out and i may go back in with the brush that i used to actually place my foundation on yeah I am going to go back in with that brush and just um, blend around the edges to make sure everything looks seamless and I don't have any harsh lines on my face or anything like that. So after I go ahead and blend everything out, I'm going to move on to contour and I'm using a black opal foundation stick as well. I think this one is chestnut, but I'm not sure. I've just picked some of that up on my little brush here. This is a duo fiber brush and I just I'm placing that down the sides of my nose. Normally I do not contour this far in um, on my cheeks but I wanted to try something different like I was saying. Every, a lot of stuff new is going on in this video and then I'm just blending that out with um, another duo fiber brush and I love duo fiber brushes to blend things out. So for the baking part I'm not baking really long or hard, like with a lot of powder, but I am using my Sasha Buttercup powder under the eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my mouth, my chin, and underneath my contour to get a really sharp, um, dramatic contour. I really wanted this to be dramatic. And I'm just going to go in with my CoverGirl Queen Ebony Bronzer and 
um, bronze up my face around the forehead and everything and then I'm going to powder my face and take all of that extra bake um, baking powder off so that I look like a normal human being again and the brush that I'm using here is a MAC I think that's the 140 S um, S for synthetic it's a newer one of their brushes but I love that brush so I'm going to set my nose contour with my MAC blunt brush as always and I'm just going to deepen my contour with the blunt and a MAC 109. Now I'm going in with Breezy and I'm just uh, blushing my face and then I'm going to use my Fix Plus to prepare for this highlight. I'm using Precious Petals by Wet n Wild and I think this is a MAC 33 that I'm using. and I'm going to go back in with my blush brush and just blend out the highlight and the blush together. So now I'm going to go back in um, with the navel and I'm going to be placing that on the lower lash line on the outer and the inner color corner and then I'm going to go back in with that center color from the lid on the center of the lower lash line. I'm taking Max, I believe this is current. And lining my lips and then I'm using Berry Recognized by Wet n Wild. Um, it's one of their liquid lipsticks um, and I'm just going to blend everything in with a brush. So now I'm ready to take my selfies because I'm feeling myself. Yes. And that's it guys. So if you made it to this part of the video, I want to say thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I have so many more videos for you guys to check out. So please go ahead and check those babies out right here, right here, right there, right there. The, the videos are somewhere, but please check the videos out and I will see you in the next video, you guys. Thank you so much for your support.